Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. <laughs> hey folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I just wanted to make a short video today to uh, talk about one of the pens that's become one of my favorites. And it's this guy. This is the Diplomat Arrow. And this is the original Arrow to which improvements have been made. So the reason I'm making this video now is that um, I, I have a proliferation of arrows. Uh, and now they're coming out with all kinds of fun colors. Um, Goulet Pens right now has this awesome blue one, which will be uh, exclusive for them for like a month or something. Uh, it looks like Anderson Pens is getting a a brilliant bright red one uh, and probably both of those are going to make it into my collection so um, I want to like get this arrow out there for more people to see I, I talked about this one before I've definitely made videos about the arrow and that sort of thing but um, there has been uh, for some of you who like me got on the arrow train early this is one of the original arrows uh, it used to come in this uh, this black and a brown color and I think that might have been it, although there might have been also like the the silver one might have also been an original color, but I can't actually remember. Um, and it's a pretty nice pen. I mean, it was nice enough to get me to, to buy a couple of more, but it was always like it was a little bit industrial. Um, it uh, has this like this thing where the the um, uh, the grip section gets a little blotchy. It's got this matte finish to it. As you can see, these other two just kind of don't. They've got a very different finish going on. Um, and the cap, as you can see in there, has a nice white cap liner, uh, and that would let it post pretty well. So um, this was a good pin to start out with. Now, the problem was that when they came out with the orange one, it's got a very different finish to it. It's not this matte finish. It's very smooth. Uh, it's shiny. It's sleek. It's totally gorgeous. But the problem was that it wouldn't post. And the reason was because the original cap design, when you put it on the back, would just kind of fall off. Like it didn't have the, the matte finish to grip onto. And so it would just fall off. And that's not great. And you'd also hear like this kind of like scrapey sound, which isn't, uh, which isn't nice. Um, so there were enough um, comments about that sort of thing. Also, this doesn't make a very satisfying sound when you cap it. Let me go ahead and uh, uh, get the microphone real close. Like it's got it. It's got an okay click, um, but they made an improvement with the new arrows, and both of my new ones have this. This is the orange, and this is the factory finish. Um, and if you look inside, you'll see this has a black cap liner, and then it comes down much further on the cap. So let me show you the difference here. Um, all the black inside this orange cap is that uh, that cap liner, and you can see here where the white one stops. Uh, well short stops like here ish yeah instead of going all the way to the edge so um, what this does is one it makes it post very strongly and nicely and this is a pen that I actually really like to use posted it's um uh, it's a great length it's a good length unposted I think but uh, posted I think this is totally perfect for me the other thing is this this has a very satisfying feeling when you cap it hold on a sec It just, it kind of goes about this far, and you get a little bit of a, and it snaps on very smoothly. And I think this one's actually even better. If you're like me, that's that's very, it's one of those like oddly satisfying things. Um, in fact, here's a video of a bunch of not pen people um, passing this pen around in a bar uh, and talking about how this cap is real cool. So check. Feel free to start whenever. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, you expect I, it I can't be, believe there's not a magnet on this. Things you, expect it, you expect it to be like uh, more resistance, right? Yeah, you're going to have to put it on. It's not. It's, it's, it's smooth. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. It does feel like there's, it feels like there's a, magnet. a magnet there. There's not. I can tell there yes. is, but it feels this like there is. This pin is very yeah. nice when you it's close so, it. It's a satisfying snap. That's what I said. It's yeah, satisfying. It's really satisfying. Is there a dip in it? There's got to be something. No. The divot's up in the top. Yeah. Oh. That's what I think. 
Okay, so um, that's kind of the biggest update for these uh, these diplomats, aside from going from black and brown and silver to wild colors and cool finishes like this factory finish and stuff like that. Um, it's got a great capping mechanism. It's a slip cap, but I don't have any problem with these guys drying out. They seem to have a very good cap seal, and I mean, it feels like a... It feels like a good cap seal. So um, I would say buy these diplomats with confidence. Um, the uh, be aware of nib sizes and that kind of thing. These are Western size nibs. However, like the extra fine and that sort of thing are very fine. Uh, there's a big difference between the extra fine and the fine and the medium. So uh, make sure that you're aware of that. But um, these pens are a joy and a pleasure, and I like them a lot. So um, check these out at your favorite uh, diplomat purveyor. Um, I've mostly gotten mine um, either straight from. Uh, points of distinction when they were still the diplomat um, uh, distributors uh, and now from uh, Bertram's Inkwell and Anderson Pens and such. So um, make sure that you check these out and I will see y'all in another video. Peace out.